Oh, there we go. There's a garbage can, some Tupperware, but also a lot of really stinky, stinky food. Welcome to the Frugal Family. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Julie, also known as the Frugal Mama. Join us every Sunday as we get in the bins, do our dumpster diving, our part in saving and salvaging, trying to make a difference. And Welcome to the future. Here I am. <laughs> Three years later, I am so excited to bring you along on this journey of the jade plants. The dumpster salvaged jade plants. <sighs> so sorry. A nice big chalkboard. Oh, but it's broken. There's a plant. Oh, they're in rough shape, these succulents. I'll have to see if I can grab the other one. All their kitchen wares are right here. This bag is in rough shape. Three years and one tiny, almost dead jade plant later. Okay, also lots of soil, water, sunlight, and love. Let's see how we did with the jade plants. Sadly, the other two types of succulents or whatever they were, they didn't make it. It's unfortunate. But the jade has more than made up for it. Well, so that was a pretty good bin. We got some good cleaning products. We tend to get most of our cleaning products um, in the college bins. Yeah, the college student bins. Hopefully I can save these succulents. Oh, Mimi, don't play with it, honey. It'll, it'll get broken, okay? You can just talk to it, all right? Great news, frugal gardening friends. So the cuttings that I took from our dumpster salvaged succulent have had a lot of time here in these little cups. I have changed out the water several times, and now, look! Look at all those roots. That one, and that one. They're covered in dust from James finishing the floor, but that's not a problem. Lots of healthy roots there. You can see them behind those cute pictures. And finally, this little guy, look at those roots. They are begging to be potted up into happy little homes where they themselves will grow and flourish, and eventually, well, we'll propagate even some more. Olivia gathered dirt into these mugs that Mariah went and grabbed for us out of our excess glassware. They were meant to be donated, but I decided they would be perfect for our succulent uh, propagations. We let the new little jade plants get established and then they lived in the windowsill in the kitchen and they have just continued to grow and develop. And then once they were past that point, I ended up bringing them out on the porch so that they could get more sunlight and because they just really added to the porch, you know, between the kitty and the jade plants. They really were a fabulous addition to the porch. But they also really started growing. Frugal friends, today I am potting things up finally. Also refilling soaps. Whew, potting up our jade plants and our mums. Oh boy. We're doing this. Now, I noticed, let's see, it wasn't those ones. Those have definitely developed more roots than last time we checked on them. But these poor jade plants, they desperately need to get out. Um, and one more of the other mums has also developed some roots. So super excited about that. We will be potting up three mums and then I'm gonna continue with the other two to let them try, or I might go ahead and pot them up and kind of see what happens. Again, experimenting. That is what my gardening is. From a sad little dumpster salvage jade plant that was barely hanging on to life, all of this has come. They are so beautiful. I'm going to be giving them out probably as Christmas presents this year. <sighs> Was this project totally free? No, absolutely not. But it is just another example of how we use our dumpster salvage treasures and also share them, hey, Christmas presents, but also just to show you what is possible with dumpster salvage treasures or with the things that you might be thinking of throwing away. 
I hope you have enjoyed coming along for this fabulous dumpster salvage journey of the jade plants. I sure have enjoyed it and it forced me to get them into new pots. So hey, the jade thanks you. Have a great day, frugal friends. <laughs>